sup? So I did a video on reasons why you should dump your girl boyfriend. And I was like, you know what, that's a little bit gendered just towards, you know, straight people. So I'm gonna do the same thing, but reasons to dump your girlfriend. Granted, I don't have male friends, so I recollected this from experiences that I've seen online. Hopefully it applies, and if it doesn't, you can tell me in the comments, like, girl, what is this? So, I made a list. So my first thing is, in quotation marks, stop acting like that, man up. Oh my goodness, if you are with a woman who basically not insinuates, just tells you up front, also insinuates that's so bad, that you need to man up, be a man in the relationship, and like, anything along those lines, that's a red flag. You are entitled to feel emotions, you're entitled to be sad, you're entitled to feel vulnerable, to look out for companionship. That does not make you weak, that does not make you unmanly, that does not, any of those bad uh, connotations that you are thinking of, that does not make you that. And if your partner is insinuating that, then uh, dump them. Because that's a partner who doesn't want you to be emotional. And the thing is, people think being emotional is bad. No, you're entitled to cry, you're entitled to feel, you're entitled to have emotions. You, should, you are not, just because you're a man doesn't mean you're a robot who all it knows is to like, I don't know what the stereotype is for men, but whatever it is, that's not what you're, you know, men are not robots. Cool? And especially if they're your partner, like your, you know, your other person, your person, they should not be belittling you. They should not be putting you in a box and being like, oh, you're the man in this relationship. And you can't cry. You can't be sad. You can't, all those things. No, no, you gotta be a man. Be tough. Dump them. Doesn't matter what they look like. Dump them. Second, somehow the relationship always ends up 90 and 10, no matter what. Well, what I mean by this is the man, aka you, if you're watching this, is always giving up, giving in, or giving away 90% of their emotion, stability, uh, feelings, energy, everything, and the other person, aka your girlfriend, is only giving 10% of this, in this scenario. You are the emotional support animal being pet. Is that wrong to say? I feel like it's not because all the... But anyways, you are the emotional support being in this relationship and they just suck that up like a vampire. And uh, when it's their turn, there's just nowhere to be found. When you're having a tough time and you need your partner to, rel to rely on, they're just like, yeah, no, um, I got other things to do. Uh, suck it up. No. Dump them. See, a relationship isn't always going to be 50-50, but it should be 90-10 all the time. That is just not healthy. A, per a man is like a person and has emotional needs as well, and you should not be giving someone 90% of your energy all the time and they give nothing back. And you should not feel like that's normal. And that's like, oh, that's what a man's supposed to do. That is not what a man's supposed to do. A relationship, take out the gender, is supposed to be give and take. Should not be just you giving and giving and the other person taking and you're just like, well, that's how it's supposed to be because I'm a man. No. Third, belittles your feelings or ridicul ridic ridiculizes you. This is a big red flag. If you are someone, usually men, um, are told to be very reserved with their feelings, be very like, you know, not emotional, like, oh, you just man up and don't cry and you're a little girl. And if your partner, someone who's supposed to love you and care for you, belittles you the moment you show emotions, run, run away, dump them, block their number, g go on a nature retreat and just pretend you don't exist to them. Like, literally just... No, 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 like, no, 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 no. Don't even give him, like, a chance to excuse himself. It'd be like, what the heck? What, how, how? The thing is, I feel like if men place themselves, like, in a woman's shoes, like, would you treat a woman like that? And if you, if you're like, well, it's different because you should go, shh, shh, Just ask yourself, would you treat a woman like that? And if the answer is like, no, then a woman should not be treating you like that. As simple as that. And ridicule, ri I can't say the word, ridiculizes you is not good either. Your partner is meant to ridicule you. Yeah, you can joke around. 
of course if it's in the boundaries of your relationship but ridiculize you for for like having feelings and like one thing is like oh like if you just start crying in a movie and your partner's sitting you're crying like pokes fun at you and you're like oh that's fine but if it's something where you're like this isn't this is like a boundary i don't like you making fun of me this way and your partner still makes fun of you they're like what they should do is like oh i'm sorry i didn't know that this was like i'm sorry i didn't know um that's simple not continue to make fun of you for something that you deem important and the thing is oh and the whole hobbies things i understand that this whole like cliche that men only like video games or like sports but if it's something that truly is important to you and it's something like oh it's like a family tradition and all that stuff and your partner is just continuously not joking but like belittling you for like spending time on that investing in it wanting to spend time with your family doing the sport and you're i'm i'm relating to sport because in my mind men are just like sports sorry about that <laughs> and you're like no it's important to me it's important to my family and they're like yeah that's stupid dump them again just think about it would you treat your partner this way and if you're like no i wouldn't then you shouldn't be letting your partner treat you that way cool cool pulls you away from your family and friends and this is a big red flag and but i do see it more like socially acceptable by you know women doing it to men it's not really that talk, much talked about so i'm like you should notice if out of nowhere your partner's like mm, i don't like you hanging out with your mom that much i don't like when you hang out with your parents could you just like you just don't pay enough attention to me can you like can we just like i know you have like weekend family weekends but you can just like spend time with me more or like i know this is important like you know every family saturdays and all that, but like aren't you a little too grown up for that or your friends you just play too much with them or like you hang out too much with them or oh your friend tony yeah he's kind of weird he's just like are you sure you want to be friends with them now are there sometimes where these scenarios where your girlfriend could be valid depending on the context of course but when it's scenarios where you're like okay well my friends aren't being manipulative my friends aren't being toxic my friends are actually including her but she still is trying to like push them out you need to think okay why is this family if it's something important to you and she's like no you should like let them go you should not do that like let's hang out together you don't care about it's the language it's the way they speak to you if you t if your girlfriend tells you like hey um, I know family weekends are really important, but I was wondering, you know, I've not been feeling that great. Can we hang out on this Saturday? And if you're like, oh, yeah, sure. And it's just like a one-time deal and she respects that Saturdays are for family. That is completely different. But if it's every Saturday, she puts up a fight and says, it's stupid that you want to spend time with your family. It's dumb that you don't love me. It's the way the language is formed and directed towards you that can be manipulative and basically trying to isolate you from your friends and family. And the thing is, when you're in a relationship, your partner, your person, shouldn't be your world. You should care immensely for them and they should be your person, your favorite person, but they shouldn't be everything in the universe. And in relationships like those that are toxic or um, abusive, is that they basically make it so they are your only support system and sometimes men don't even notice it and then when you get dumped or things happen or things escalate and you want a friend to talk to you you have no one because they've basically isolated from yourself from everyone and i feel like men don't see the warning signs because i've seen videos where women just slap men across the face and they're like well you know she's a woman like he needs to put up with it no he doesn't like if a woman makes any indication that she's gonna slap you hit you without consent you need to get out of that situation you need to move you need to i mean i would love to say report to the police but let's be honest police some places don't believe in men being victims so like just tell your family get out of there move out when she's at work do everything you can to just get away from that situation block everything and don't let yourself be like convinced by society or by even by your friends or her friends or her that oh it's just a normal behavior like she's just moody or like no she really loves you she just you know had a tough time that no 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 none no excuse can be given to hitting you to ridiculizing you to belittling you to treating you like you're someone's like a like emotional support dog 
or like a pet or like an ATM. Like that's not how a relationship is. Now, what is the next one? Uh, you are always the one paying everything and giving. Now, again, this obviously depends on your relationship and your boundaries. Some guys like paying for everything and some girls like paying for everything. Like I said, that d depends on the context and the relationship. But if it's something that you were forced to and the girl never gives anything at all, like not even like presents or not even like you say like, oh, hey, um, I like her. She kisses sometimes. And not even that. She gives you not even like a dollar of like chocolates. Step back and be like, am I being used for monetary values? Because you might be like, I think it's one thing is if, you, if it's consensual. If she's like, hey, I want you to pay for everything. And you're like, cool whatever it's another thing if it's under like it's being like oh no like you, you just you know it's like a man's job to do no 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 and the thing is the whole giving thing it's not just monetary monetarily i don't know how to pronounce that but it's just giving from emotional to mental where it's like you're always her support system but when you need her she's completely gone she's on the poconos with her friends and you're just like dying of like sadness and she's like you just need to get over it you're the man act like it you're my man my manly man dump them anyways yeah be careful about being used as an atm because like i said if it's like if it's in the like the the I was gonna say rules, but like, you know, if that's how your relationship is established and it's like you pay for more things, but she pays for this, and that's completely different. But if it's never been established and you like, hey, can you like spend on this? Or like, I'm, like I'm spending a lot, and then she just completely blows up at you and yells at you and says, like, how can you do this? Aren't you a man? Like, blah, blah, blah. Like, how can you treat me this way? Like, I'm a, like, it makes it seem like it's solely your fault for bringing it up. Red flag dump them okay this one is a big one for me never compliments you or just gives you a hug or holds your hand i i understand people have different love languages but to never ever ever compliment you be it from like physical or personality wise and like i said you're basically an emotional support dog and gives you nothing back that is completely detrimental imagine you're in a relationship and your partner doesn't tell you that you're cute that you're pretty that you're handsome that you're funny that oh you have like really beautiful eyes or like tries to like hold your hand or just like like i said some people don't like to be touched or like to touch others but they can work around like oh like hold your pinky or just like pet your head if they give you nothing nothing at all you deserve that. You as a person deserve emotional support. You deserve to be complicated. Did I say complicated? Whatever. You deserve to be complicated in its boundaries. But you also deserve to be complimented. You deserve to be have nice things said about you. And you deserve to feel those butterflies. It shouldn't you be giving the butterflies. But you should also feel the butterflies. You should be feeling giddy when your girlfriend tells you that you're cute and pretty and handsome. And you should feel like, oh my god. Because that's what the relationship is about i mean not all of it but you know what i'm trying to say so if you're dating someone who is just basically like give me compliments give me emotional support oh you want some too bad dump them dump them don't even think twice about it last i already said this but give zero emotional support like i said if you're their emotional support dog and <laughs> i don't know why i said dog but it's the only animal i can think of that's like an emotional support dog and you are being giving nothing at all zero and if it's like like i've seen scenarios where it's like oh yeah his like mom passed away like i just let him be by himself because like he'll get over it huh what do you mean he'll... what <laughs> what are you talking about Or if it's like, oh, he always cries at my, at movies and like I make fun of him about him. Like I said, if it's a, like consensual, it's in your relationship of poking fun, that's one thing. But if you're being belittled and ridiculized for having emotions, again. So it has to be important that emotional support is being given to you. Like I said, women aren't your therapists. I'm not like, the thing is people think like if you go one direction to the extreme or the other extreme, I'm not saying that they should be your therapist but they should be there for you in things that are common in a relationship. 
like I said, just take yourself out of your like gender role of like, I'm a man, and put yourself, if you were, like, would you do this to a woman? Or you know what, let's just move it to another thing. If you have a sister or an aunt or a mom, wait, no, sorry, my brain is working backwards. If you have a friend, like a best friend, a best dude friend, would you put up with his girlfriend treating him like that? Or your dad, or your uncle, or your grandpa, or whatever, or anyone who uh, who's a man in your life who you deeply love and care about, would you put up with their significant other treating them so poorly? If the answer is like, no, dude. And if you can't think it that way, then use the gender thing. Think about your mom, your sister, your best friend, your aunt, your whatever woman in your life that you care about, and re reverse the roles. Reverse the roles? Reverse the genders. If a man was treating your sister mom whatever that way would you put up with it no then why are you putting up with it hmm you should not dump them um yeah so this is my little list of reasons why you should dump your girlfriend men uh you should deserve to have emotions you deserve to be have feelings oh my god what happened anyways um i like how i'm not gonna edit any of these videos <laughs> so yeah um be aware Keep your friends close and don't feel be afraid to feel things. So uh, I don't know how to end this, but uh yeah. Bye.